It goes nothing. Hey everyone. I've had just an incredible last two days. My my ceremonies. Um, I, words. I, I mean, I'm gonna try to try to put it into words, but it's gonna be tough. Um, I'm I'm not the same person that I was the last time that I sent a video log. Um, so I did a daytime ayahuasca ceremony, which is the first of my kind. Uh, of that kind. Uh, it's from the Kofan tradition and because of the types of energies that are used, uh, manipulated, um, it's it's uh, difficult to do it during the daytime. Usually it's done at night. So this it was a really unique experience. Um, and then I did my, my final San Pedro Cactus and Tabascal or Sweat Lodge ceremony. And I mean, each one in and of itself was incredible. I'm going to try to explain all of them and keep it concise um, in this video. So, so I'll get right into it. You know, after I purged on the ayahuasca, I, um, I started to see this, this visual of this, this world started building, building in front of me with these colors and, and shapes and um, everything was swaying. It was like it was alive. Um, and I mean, the, the only way I can describe it is that it's ayahuasca world, you know, it's, it's very similar to the places I've been, I've seen before. Um, this time it was not physically uncomfortable though. And I was just in that place for a while. Um, and I wasn't sure where it was going to take me, but eventually it took me back again to the things that happened at my grandparents' house. Um, and as a recap, while well, they, they drugged me and they did horrible things to me, um, so, I mean, as I was going there, you know, I started to go a little deeper and I started to have, you know, feelings like they, they're, they're on some level, they made a choice. They were, they were aware of their actions. They were responsible. And I, I just, you know, you don't want to see your family as being jerks, you know, as being like terrible people, but that's what I was seeing. You know, it's just like, maybe I just have to accept the fact that they're just these wretched horrible people who did did these just utterly despicable things to me um and you know it was tough um so you know i just i just went through that and you know i i reached a point where i was just like like i've i've you know i've just been depressed for so long in my life i've 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 mistreated my body you know i i've I've, I've generated these health problems for myself, you know, I've, I've never been able to be, have a relationship, you know, um, and, you know, I've just started thinking, like, just all these really negative thoughts coming down on myself, you know, and I, I was like, you know, I'm, I, I can't do anything, anything I try to do, I, I fail at, you know, that's what, was what I was thinking, and, and I was like, I, I was like, um, I, I, basically, you know, I started saying, like, the, the, you know, the only thing I'm good at is getting my ass kicked. Because I've been doing that my whole fucking life. Sorry, start, pardon my language, you know, but, but I just, like, I, I I'm a freaking expert at that. Hey, <laughs> that's the uh, shaman. I don't know if you ca caught him. But, um, yeah, you know, and as I, as I started s thinking that, like, I, I, I connected it back to my grandparents, you know, I was just like, I was just like, I hate them. I hate what they did to me. I hate... Their shriveled, old, disgusting bodies, you know? I, I, I started having these really hateful thoughts towards them. Um, and it was tough, you know? I, um, to pause it for a second with, like, my thoughts, but, um, so, so as I, as I was thinking this, you know, I, I, I mean, it, there's so many things happened during the ceremony, but I, I was just, I, I went back to my, myself, you know, and I was thinking about all these relationships I've had, I've had with people and, you know, people who I, you know, like, kind of had just, like, a strained relationship with, and, and, you know, I was thinking, like, you know, part, partially it was my fault, but, but in some, sometimes maybe things that I blamed on myself weren't totally my fault either, you know, um, and, you know, I just started having these thoughts, you know, like, like, uh, you know, it, it, my mind was racing, it's like, it's like, is this my fault, do I have to change, like, it's so, so hard, like, is, is it my grandparents' fault, or were they, were they, were they victims themselves, or, or like, um, it was just, it was just so complicated. I was like, I was like trying to pin down an answer and, and I realized that I couldn't, you know, I, that's what one of the shamans uh, mentioned is that we, we want to live in our rational mind. Um, but, 
there's not there's not easy answers for things for a lot of, for a lot of things most things I would say you know I mean you want you can't you can't if you try to grasp an answer you're gonna lose it as the Tao Te Ching says um, so that was kind of my insight for that moment and and I as I was like having these very vivid recollections of being abused I thought of my mother and I I had this I guess what they call an egoic projection that she was. Um, that she was experiencing the same things, which I later found out was incorrect. But um, she she still doesn't remember. She's repressing what happened to her in her childhood. Um, I'll get more into that. But um, so so you know, I, I felt this like wave of nausea, and I felt like I was going to purge for a second, but I didn't. But uh, I already did earlier. Um, and you know, I just sat there I, with like tears in my eyes, thinking about you know abusing the animals, of thinking about just all this this horrible stuff uh, that happened, and I. Um, you know, I, I, I got over it and I started to feel better and I started to connect with all the plants. I just started walking around and touching the plants, stroking them. Um, and it was, it was beautiful, you know, like just, just to be able to like, you know, the same way you can touch a human being or, um, an animal and you can feel that they're alive and feel their presence. Um, I felt the same thing with the plants, you know, even though they don't, they don't move, they don't make noises and stuff, talk or whatever. Um, so I felt that they were alive and real and that was, uh. That was how my experience with the ayahuasca ended, um, and and uh, it was nice to be able to do that during the daytime ceremony. So, um, yeah, it was it was tough though. Like the ceremony, I, I ended up like for the rest of the day, I didn't really talk too much to anyone else. I, I was just I was just really lost in my thoughts and just really just having having a really hard time. I wandered around just just like sort of in a, in a daze in some ways. Um, so. The next day was the uh, Huashuma ceremony. Oh, you know, I forgot to mention that the, the uh, shaman was playing a harmonica too, which is really cool. I've never had that for a, um, an ayahuasca ceremony. Now, actually, for both the San Pedro and the ayahuasca, there were long periods of silence, which was a, which was a change of pace from what it was like in um, Peru, where they were singing and, and shaking their shakers the entire time. Um, so for the Huashuma, you know, again, I started to go deep and I... It took it took a while to hit hit. It's not as uh, it's a lot more subtle than the ayahuasca, but I, I did start to I remembered these things from my past um, things that I did. Um, you know, I was starting to think about like acting out, like like the, uh, as a result. Like I'll give you an example. Um, it's, it's a little bit personal, but when I was when I was like a, you know like a preteen, I guess I would say, and my younger sister, I um, this is Santa Elena, by the way. She. Um, I, my grandparents were over at my house uh, when, I, when I was older, um, just like babysitting us or whatever, and they were watching TV, and you know, I was just thinking like they're old, like, like you know, they're, they're, they're senile or whatever, uh, you know, and just like, but I told my sister to, to, to take off her clothes um, and just run around. I chased her around while they were watching TV, and I just thought it was, I guess, funny or something that they didn't notice, like, you know, it's strange. I mean, I'm just thinking back to that now, like, like, you know, how come, why did I ask her to do that? Why did she go along with it? Why did my grandparents just ignore it, you know? It's really odd, but it makes sense now, you know? And I, I just, I'm thinking about this, like, acting out, you know? Like, I was doing, I did something, obviously, that was wrong. But, like, it, it's, it, it, and I, I didn't even realize that it was so messed up at the time, you know? Um, yeah, but, I, you know, it's, it kind of gave me some sense of, like, how this stuff happens. You know, and I thought about a few other things, <clears throat> other things with my friends, um, also, you know, similar kind of weird, you know, things that I did or, or that my friend, you know, a friend of mine did also, um, you know, it just makes you, it makes you wonder, you know, you know, the kids I work with, well, well, they'll sexually act out too. And that's where they learn it. Um, and I, I learned, well, I, you know, I don't need to go into that, but, uh, just with my mother, she, she, she said something that happened with her sister also, um, and she'd never told anybody about, it. which, you know, I mean, I told her that's really significant, um. And we're gonna have to work through that, but um, so uh, th so as as the San Pedro continued, I uh, remembered um, that I was abused by a group of cops as a, as a young child. I was sexually and um, abused in other ways, like terrorized by th this group of cops that came to the house, um, to my grandparents' house, and uh, and I got so mad, you know, I I just I I was en enraged. Like so, so mad that I was shaking. I was, I was like going between crying and shaking. Like I, I just, the feelings were just so overwhelming, and I, I had to leave. I had to leave the, um, the ceremony because I, I didn't want to keep that negative energy there. Um, but I, you know, I had this, 
there was something I wanted to post on Facebook. And, you know, thankfully, thankfully, um, the Wi-Fi was off. I tried to walk back and post it, but I just to, like, clear my mind of it and so I could go back to the ceremony. But, uh, it was just like, this, this is it, word for word. This is, I hate the effing police. I hate what the effing police did to me as a kid. And I don't give a expletive deleted. Who knows about it? And if I ever meet one of those low-life, scumbag pieces of capital S-H-I-T no prison and this earth will keep me will, will save them from what's coming to them wish that I had killed them when I'm done with them that, that was what I wanted to say and, and I was just filled with these thoughts of rage and, and re like wrath revenge I was so angry and um <sighs> So, um, so, you know, I, my, um, you know, I was sitting in front of the fire and just like fuming and just like, like, like crying in between, just like, just like, just like having so, these complex thoughts and, and my, uh, my facilitator, Jesse, uh, great guy, you know, everyone awesome. But, uh, he said to me, like, like, it's time to take more medicine. You know, you need to take some more. And I just said to him, I'm, I'm really angry right now. And I just started crying again, you know, and he's like, he's like, I know. And, you know, it's just like, you're, you're here to take the medicine. It's, it's what you're here to do. So, so I did, you know, and um, it was tough. But I, I reached a point where, where we were going around and saying what we were thankful for. And, um, and I, I, I transmuted that, that feeling. And I said something really powerful. I'll, I'll, I'll share that later. But um, so then, then was a sweat lodge. And as I was in the sweat lodge... You know, it, it gets so hot, and I, I was like, I was huffing and puffing, my heart was pounding, and I was just having such a hard time. I was like, I was like crying and trying to breathe at the same time, and um, and just having these like these these thoughts of rage, you know. Um, and I realized when we got out that like I was these health problems I was having. The um, ah crap, dogs. All right, I'm gonna turn around. Probably not gonna really hear me, but um, okay. So these these health problems, I, I was having I, like I was having pain in my my chest, my heart, and um, I realized that like that all this stuff was was it was purely from my my anger, this anger that I was keeping inside, and this these feelings of wrath, you know. Um, and Jesse had said in the in the the Tomas call that the the it comes, the um, the only enemy is you, you know. That's the only that's the only person you have to fight against, and and I realized that that was right. That 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 the anger. It was the same feelings that those that those police officers and and the other people that the other perpetrators had, you know, and it was in me too. Um, and and you know, it made me understand better. But I also, you know, I I, I it was beautiful because I I felt a sense of peace and calm with myself. Um, and I, I realized that I hey cow, uh, <laughs> I I realized that that you know it was okay. And and those those people they were sick. They, they were they were ill they were it was it was just sad you know um so i'm gonna share i don't know how much more time i got i'm gonna share what i said around the fire i said i i transformed my my feelings and i said i'm i'm thankful for the flame i'm thankful for passion i'm thankful for life love is stronger than pain love is stronger than guilt Love is stronger than rage. Love is stronger than revenge. It was beautiful, and I, I'm, I'm feeling that now. You know, the enemy is, is within, you know? That was, that was the only enemy I've ever had. It was, it was the, same, the same enemy that's inside of me is the enemy that's inside of, of the people that are, the, anyone, basically, but the people that abuse me, the people that, that are continuing to abuse other people, and, and that's what we, we, we all have to remember, and that's what I'm going to go forward with. I'm going to... I'm going to, you know, I, I'm going to talk about this stuff because it's not just about me. It's about, it's about the, the ongoing problem and it's a problem.